right? Um, Shalom, right? Want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem and Shai. Double honor to the elders, the apostles of great mercy, and surely do you well. Salutations to the Akim Makush, this will be in sincerity and in truth, right? This is Lamad again, right? It's another video, right? From James Camp Trinidad, right? Um, come to that quick video. Hopefully, it's a defining of the elect. Because I was thinking about the scripture in Luke 17, verse 10. The scripture taught, um, told us that, you know, basically, we are unprofitable servants. Right? Unprofitable means basically like work for nothing without reward or gain. Right? And, you know, the thing about it is not because the scriptures say that we are unprofitable servants, mean that we have to be unprofitable to the Lord. Right? Because we, we have our work to do. Right? We, we have to be uh, vessels made basically unto honor to shoot for the praises of the Most High Yahweh Hashem You know, we, we, we just can't sit down and slugger and be lazy. Right? Um, so, to further ado, I pray for the Spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yashai to explain how it's going, you know, as best as I could. This we said this is Luke 17. I start off with 7. It says, But which of you, having a servant plowing or feeding cattle, will say unto him by and by, when he is come from the field, go and sit down to meet? I will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewithal I may suck and go thyself and serve me till I have eaten and drunken, and afterward thou shalt eat and drink. Doth he thank that servant because he did the things that we commanded him, I I trot not, which means you know to think not, right? Because you know we we all here think about slave, we don't think about no, we working for we um so called slave masters or bosses, right? Which one of us they they they, they thank for doing what we had to do, right? Especially if we do it to the best. Let me say um like it's a cook in a restaurant, are you better than your study cooks? Right and um again compliments to everybody cases, right the restaurant, which would would the boss come and tell the, the servants hey thanks for for no, right you're doing what you have to do you you getting paid for it to everybody cases, cause guess what we do have our reward in heaven, right but if we ain't bound for no um thanks, right when I mean we ain't bound for no thanks the the, the boss and the and tell us thanks. We doing what we have to do, right? We stand. So likewise, see, when we shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which we was, what well, um, which was our duty to do, right? So what what is our duty right about now, right? First of all, the scripture in um Ecclesiastes twelve verse thirteen says, "For this is the whole duty of a man," right? To fear the most high and keep his commandments, right? And right now, our commandment is to do what? Push this wood, right? Our commandment is to push this wood through the four corners of the earth. But in order to do that, we, we have to, you know, give attendance to reading and stuff. So I'll, I'll bring that, um, that precept. The first Timothy. Um, 4 and 13, it says, Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Right? So, you know, hey, we, we have to continue reading, going through these precepts, right? Praying that, that our cup runneth over with the understanding of the scriptures, that the most high bestow upon us his Holy Spirit to go there and do um, the works. Right? It says, Neglect not the gift that is in thee. You understand? So don't refuse that, that spirit. Don't, don't, don't take it to no heart. Right? Take it to mind. Right? It says, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on the hands of the presbytery. Medit meditate upon these things. Give thyself holy to them that thy profiting may appear to all. You understand? So even though you're an unprofitable servant, right? That your profiting may appear. Right? That, that, that spirit, what is the gift of prophecy? Or oh, he's a teacher, right? You know, and, and whatever other spiritual gifts was bestowed upon upon you. 
right? It says, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. The doctrine of Yahweh Abba Shem Hashai, not the other false doctrines, right? And these Christian doctrines. It says, continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Right? So that is our job, right? That we give heed unto this doctrine that, you know, our, our, our portion, our reward that will be that we will be saved and save them that, you know, that hear us. We have to continue in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai because guess what? We have to be fruitful. Right? This is John 15. I start at um, verse 4. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot be a fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can you accept me abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me he can do nothing. If a man abide in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. Right? So we, we have to abide in this truth in order that we bring forth fruit, right, to the most high. Otherwise, we will be cast in, in, into the fire, which is, is one thing that, you know, none of us want, right? So, if it's in or being unprofitable servants, we still have to be profitable to the most high, for, for his use, all right? This is um Second Timothy. To 19 to 20. It says, Nevertheless, the foundation of the most high stand is sure, having the seed. The Lord made them that are his, right? A, a faithful steward, a faithful servant, right? It says, And let everyone that named the name of Mashiach depart from any, right? So, we being servants of the most high, we are to depart from all evil also. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Right? And I know the majority of us, men and great men, don't we want to be vessels unto honor. We want to be vessels meet, uh, vessels meet. For the master's good work, right? Because you know, you don't want to be a vessel unto the sun. We see men getting thrown out left, right, and center. So, you know, the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, Elder Apostle Zah, he gave an order that you know, we have to, we have to push this, and that is showing that is that is showing that he'll be also profitable for the um, for the both side works, right? But with him being profitable. Right? That is something that you have to do. That, that is your job. That is your work. Right? So yet, you're still unprofitable, but profitable unto the most high, if you understand where I'm coming from. Right? Right? Next, um, it's Matthew 25. You know? Um, I'll start at verse 13. It says, Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Right? So, a hey, scripture say, you know, Isaiah 62, verse 6, I have set watchmen upon thy wall, O Jerusalem. Right? That um, so to hold not the peace. You know, that is why we constantly in the news, reading newspapers, or, you know, we keep in our listening for certain things. Like right now in Chimdad, hey, a lot of people going against the government. Because the government saying that they don't have money for a lot of things, but yet they, they're spending a lot of money on unprofitable things. So people ask the question now, oh, it is, well, they don't have money, right? Because it has some people in China right now, they ain't get paid for three fortnights, which a fortnight is two weeks. So there's a month and something, it has people who ain't get paid for a full month, two months, so they rent to pray for the children to see about. Right? So they're saying that they don't have no money to pay their workers, but yet they're spending money on unnecessary vehicles, right? On um, unnecessary buildings, do they get money for doing this and doing that, and yet they cannot pay the, the poor, right? So 
you know, we listen out for these things. We listen out for these things because why? These things go back to prophecy. Where where it said they shall curse their gods and the, and their kings. Because a president or a prime minister come like a king, he's the ruler of the um the country or the nation. So that that goes back also to second Ezra's when it says, you know, there shall be uproars of the people. Watch for when these things come to pass, don't know it's that um it is the time that the most I begin to visit the earth. Right? So Yahweh Shami and Shai right about now he is beginning to visit the earth. Right? But we have to keep on watching and we have to go out there constantly warning the people because why that that is our work that that is our job this is our real work this is our real job this is something that we have to do we have to make this our life our breath right go out there as best as 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 we could you know be in season and out of season right it says um It says verse 14, for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. Right? So Yahushai, you know, he traveled into that far country. He, he going back to meet his father. Right? And he, he abided with his father on the right hand until. Right? But he gave his goods. He, um, um, the Holy Spirit, which, which the Holy Spirit is the gifts of the Mosai, which is... Um, Whatever wisdom, knowledge in languages and prophecies and healing, casting out demons, right? So he, he gives the gifts, but it's what we're going to do with the gifts. We can't just lay back now with, with the gifts or whatever knowledge that we have, whatever understanding of the scriptures are not going out there and spread it because guess what? Yeah, Osha is that fountain of living waters and he, he bestowed that gifts upon us. So right now we we flooding the internet, we we flooding YouTube with the videos left, right, and center. Whether it's personal videos, highways and byways as a team, team, um, you know, just just pushing this. We we have to love this. This this has to be our life. We have to push this word right through, right through, right through. Right. We have to be worse than the sea. A, a river constantly flowing and, and flooding these people. Right. We 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 over. Um, come in the, the, the dry places, which is lies. The lies that the so-called white man push, and we flooding it with the truth. Beginning with the elders of um, Great Millstone that surely do you well. Right? So so the, the, the goods is the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Right? It says, um, And unto one he gave five talents to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his um, several ability, and straightway took his journey. So he gives each man a gift according to their, their own ability. But it's what these men know. Well, you, you know, and I myself, because you know you have to speak to yourself first, because scriptures say, you know, take the, the, the beam out of your own eye before you take the motor out of anybody else's eye. So this goes for everybody. Is is what we're going to do with the talent that Yahweh Shami Hashem give us according to our um, thing because not all men will receive the same talent, the same spiritual gifts, some more than some, some less than some, but it's according to how you use it. Um, as the Ahoshai was telling the um, the disciples who give more, right? And he basically roughly paraphrasing, he said this so only because she gave all, all that she had. It's our people who get in abundance and give a portion. But some people who probably get little and they give all, hey, that person give more than who had in abundance. If you understand what I'm saying, right? It says, um, then he that had received the five talents went and um, traded with the same and made them other five talents, right? So the person go there and share this knowledge with other other people, right? And receive more. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that had received one went and dig in the earth and hid his Lord's money. Right? The money right now, the scriptures say, um, riches and wisdom. Let's see if I can get a little bit.
없나 보이 Yeah, um, Romans 11 verse 3. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of Yahweh, how oh, unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. Right? So, we and truly, yeah, um, your money is the wisdom, the riches of the knowledge of the Mosai, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, and that is what we, we have to go there and give. Right? To, to um onto the hopeful neck and onto um you know men in your own camp right it says um after a long time the lord of those servants cometh and reckon it with them and we know that time very soon so hey all of us have to get our our act together right you know we, we have to take examples of the elders and the apostles of great men soon that that um that push this word right because guess what they, they they've been pushing right through pushing up videos like how Ella apostle Taha said you know he did 20 videos during the week so what is the problem you know and we, we have to try our best to, to hey follow after the same spirit be um followers of me you know so we have to follow the elders of great men too right they they come like a Example before Yahusha is step, right? As as the same way how Yahusha walk, they try to walk, and we along the line, right? It says, and so he that received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents. So you receive five more, right? His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been Faithful over a few things, I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Joy of the Lord is thy rest. Or we toil in day and night, Jeff. Day and night just to get out of this goddamn wicked place. Right? So we have to enter into that rest, which is the kingdom. Right? He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown and gathered where thou hast not shod. And I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. So basically, he kept his talent in, to himself, to himself, right? He he hid his talent, right? He didn't he didn't share share the knowledge of Yahweh about Shem and Shai, you know. And we being a, a mountain, a, um, a fountain of living waters, you know, um, you're not supposed to hold back that water. And really, actually, they come like if it are the fountain of living waters, cause like how. How you know our camp that explains it? If somebody open up a river of water in, in your stomach and you try to close them out, your mouth goes swell, and basically what will come gushing up that water, right? That is why you know if um the prophet John says like a fire in my bones he couldn't contain, right? So it had to come out, it had to come out. You can't hide this. We we have to push this, right? It says. Um, verse 26 his Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that thou knewest not that reap where I sowed not and gathered where I have not shown. Right? You know, um, yeah, because you know what this also goes back to? This this goes back to like in the book of Ezekiel, where to study tree. And verse 3 it says, um, Son of man, you know, because the Mosai, the Mosai sent us to, to warn the people, right? And we say, if we, if we don't warn them, their blood will be upon our, on, um,
um, Ezekiel 33, I'll start as this one. It says, Again, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people. And say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he see the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. So, right now we see the sword coming upon the land. Right, the Messiah of Hashem Shai has set us up as watchmen. Okay, and we see that destruction coming near, and we have to raise our voice like a trumpet, right? Sound that alarm, that destruction coming, and that is what we're doing. We don't hold back a piece when, when it comes to this, right? Because why? It has consequences. It says, um, verse 3, If when he see the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and take it not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. So we blow in this trumpet, the people, the foolish who pass on, they will be punished, Right? But the pudent, they, they will hide themselves. Right? It says then, um, verse 5, He heard the song of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, right? And the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So right there you come like a wicked servant. Because you being a watchman, that is a service. Right? That is your work. And that is the talent that Yahweh Hashem and Hashem the majority of us to see that, that destruction coming. Right? To see that, that, that destruction coming and we don't warn the people. We're keeping it to ourselves. So guess what? We'll be able to like, what? Just hide yourself? No. You have to be able to hide yourself. But still give warning so that as many that have an ear of understanding, they be able to hide itself also. They can't study itself. That's why scriptures say, you know, love your neighbor as yourself. Right? Because if you have a friend and you know a gunman coming to your friend, right? You have to warn him, say, hey, watch now. I hear some people, some fellows, but they come to kill boy, boy, try to get out of the situation real quick, boy, whatever the case is. Right? They're looking to run some people, they're looking to run some people, but the key says. You understand? But if the person don't want to take you on, well, that is he. But that is you showing that person love because why? You care also for his soul. So you being that you're there, you let him know, boy. If you ain't let him know, thing, you wicked, you see your own brethren dead. But if, if, it, if it be, you know, that most I will, you know, you'll be able to save that person's soul. At pertaining to scripture and Timothy. Right? So, that is how come you become a wicked servant that you ain't share that talent. Right? You have to warn the people and whatever knowledge that the Mosai had imparted unto us, that is what we have to give. Yes, yeah, so sir. Back at verse 26, his Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant. Right? Slothful. Scripture saying Ecclesiastes, I can't remember the chapter and verse right now. I think it's chapter 10. It says, um, what? A, a slothful, slothful um, man basically caused the horse to decay. Right? Yes, yeah, so it can't be slothful. You know, you have to, get, you have to keep reading the scripture, say, you know, blessed be the man that read it and keep the prophecies of this book. And you keep the prophecies of this book. You 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 have a talent to bring out futuristic news. You have a talent to bring out things before it happens. Right? And that is the talent that the most I get the majority of us. Right? Um right? Thou authors therefore to have put my money to exchanges and then at my coming, I should have received my own with usury. So, I right, it's like, I'll take the, the, the apostles, for, for, for example, right? They, they go, when, when um, you two came out, right? They, they share the talent. And the, the men will understand then what? They hear that word. You understand? So, guess what? That's usury. Um, so, it's like, how to put it? It's like spreading news in a sense, it, it, what you're sharing, that knowledge. One person 
can talk to let me say two people above the street and those two people in exchange go and talk to three other people down the line so that one and that two you make what that's three but that two who talk to our other three right one two and three that nine and they keep on multiplying right so that that is the most high requiring this thing of usury of that person according to the amount of people you yourself you know might bring in or whatever the case or or you share that knowledge that person might share certain things you don't know how the spirit of the most high might really work but what you know you also pertaining to yourself you you, you build on yourself that, that is that is you increasing your talent and 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 being fruitful within yourself also so the more you read you know is the more hey scriptures say man shall not live by bread alone but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of yaba shami al shai so when you eat food what you just do you just strengthen yourself the same thing we're reading you're strengthening the mind you're strengthening the memory to to do what be more um smart when i mean more smart in the sense i'm more sharp more accurate right because we know um smart doesn't really go back to intellect but to cut or to be sharp right so yeah it says um the authors therefore to have put my money to the exchangers right and then at my coming i should have received my own with usury take therefore the talent from him and give it unto um unto him which are talents ten talents hey and you know something i see i see i saw that happen in the truth where where one person you know um probably was lazy or probably some kind of wicked evil seed went inside him and the psychic came out and somebody else received his talents you know it does happen so the, hey, the, the scriptures is true we just have to be careful right it says um verse 29 for unto everyone that hath shall be given and he shall have abundance but from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath and cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness we mean into outer darkness it doesn't talk that doesn't mean hell that doesn't mean um you know tartar or whatever the case is all it basically means is that you know the most i can see can be sick that wisdom that you had you know you might start because hey it's our brothers who, who i met over here for um the, the, the few two years basically i need two, two years and some months you know they're talking shit they bugged out now they're thinking about abba yahwa and all okay, kind that the lord yahusha is a levi right um and all kind of foolishness i i i, I meet people who who brought men into this truth and that 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 person remain and that person who brought them into the truth who once was speaking words of wisdom now talking utter shit. so he in darkness right about now when he was once in that light but what some wickedness or evil favorness that he knows i found in him and get cast out that's why we have to fear that's why we have to fear our bashami and shai and do the will of of your bashami and shai to push this word true to increase ourselves as also iron sharpness iron to increase brothers also because this this is a scary thing it really actually is a scary thing actually if I to fear the most i love him with all i heart i soul and my body and my mind demons will plague us but you know we pray to the most i have a shame and shy for that strength to keep us because that that, that is all we have yeah how about shame and shy is that rock right um yeah and cast the unprofitable servant into outer darkness they shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth because guess what when you enter the outer darkness and you use this it's only destruction upon destruction that shall be cried right um this is revelation this is last Um, yeah, I, I, I read this and you know, just Revelation 3 verse, verse 15. I know that works that don't need a cold no hot. I would that word cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm and need a cold no hot, 
I will spew thee out of my mouth. You know what? You will be sleep unprofitable to the taste. To the taste of the most I have a shame and shy. You ain't bringing that, 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 that taste you want. That, that hot taste or that cold taste. Because tea, when it do come, it don't taste good. Juice, you can't eat it because the tea don't taste good. Right? It's either the juice cold or the tea hot. It can't be lukewarm. You understand? It tastes well to your mouth. It's unprofitable to your taste. So you, you don't want to be unprofitable to the most I taste. Or the most I just might spit you out. Right? Because going down further, I explained before I go into it. It says, um, because some men, they feel they don't have it all. So some men, they might read. Some men might study, right? Um, some men, even though they might have access to the internet, because not all men have access to the internet, right? They could be watching videos with the other apostles, and, you know, just in. But, you know, hey, some people, they just think they don't have it there. They have it done locked and caught. You understand? I know all the breakdowns. I know all the precepts. I done in a gear. I could sit back, relax, you know? But you see, when you're studying, you, you tend to forget things. A lot of us who went to school, you know that for sure because it have a lot of things in school that you learn that you forget. So sometimes you might need a, a little chuck or a little reminder to spark that memory, right? It says verse 17, because thou says I am rich, right? Because you feel yourself you're rich in knowledge, right? And increase with goods and have need of nothing. And know it's not that thou art rich. Right? Something decaying and you don't know. Something in that house decaying. And you don't know. Maybe one of the beams. And when one of the beams, you know, fall off, just a earthquake might come now and the whole foundation thereof is gone. Right? And notice that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Meaning what your shame shall be your shame shall be shown. This person wasn't studying, this person wasn't reading, right? something going wrong with us with this person right so you know we, we still have to be profitable to the lord even though we are unprofitable servants we still have to be fit for the master's use right you know with that i hope it was edifying enough until the hopeful lack you know um you know, want to say all praises once again to our Father Yahweh by Shemir Shai, double honors to the elders, the apostles of great millstone that surely do rule well. Salutation to the acclaim that pushed this word out in sincerity and in truth. Right, this is Lamar once again saying Shalom Kalakiam at Ahab Yam. Shalom.